Pokemon Sword and Shield around the corner, there's some things, well, there's one thing, I guess, on my mind that I would be happy if Nintendo implemented, I guess, Game Freak. Um, but one thing that I've noticed from this generation is the lack of ghost types. So the ghost type has kind of been destroyed in this generation. Um, even Pokemon such as Gengar, who have been in the OU tier since the, every generation, except for this one, I think, you know, maybe that's because it lost its levitate, but still, ghost types seem to be a lot weaker now with the additions of fairies. Uh, maybe in 6th gen there was still a lot of good ghost types because there wasn't too many good fairies, but now there's a billion good fairy types like all the tapus. Yeah, so many good fairy types now that fairies are just running over the place. And why would you pick a ghost type when you can pick a fairy type? So I've noticed this a lot with um, the OU tier. There's only two ghost types in the entire OU tier. All of these Pokemon are down to lesser tiers. And then there's Blissef, which isn't even good, <laughs> in my opinion. It's actually pretty good, but it's it's an Ultra Beast, so it's kind of like a, you know, it's not like it's its own Pokemon. It doesn't evolve. It doesn't do any of the cool stuff. And then there's Mimikyu, which I've seen so little of Mimikyu, and I actually don't even think Mimikyu is good enough to be an OU, and that's just my personal opinion. But those are the only two Pokemon. I don't think any other type tier it has less Pokemon than these two. Which is actually crazy, and I think they're both not very good Pokemon. The only thing, like, Blastef has some sets where it's not bad, they're like Specs and Scarf, but other than that, it's just because it's an Ultra Beast and it's got some decent stats, but again, not not the greatest. So, the what I think the problem is with OU, and that would fix it, is um, it needs to have more attacking power. So in that, it needs to be super effective against Fairy types. That's how I think it needs to be balanced. Right now, um, <laughs> ghosts, ghost, one of ghosts' biggest strength is it's super effective against ghosts, but that doesn't really help if there's no ghosts. So um, another strength it would, or another strength to add to it would be making it super effective against fairy. And this kind of makes sense because they've they made a new trio, being fairy, dark, and ghost in the next game, or sorry, in this game in Sun and Moon with the starters. Primarina evolved into a fairy, and Cinerar involved into a dark type, and Decidueye into a ghost. So, if you think about it, fairy is super effective against dark, dark is super effective against ghost, but ghost isn't super effective against fairy. So it was kind of like uneven all around as far as that. But if they, you know, make ghost super effective against fairy, then the trio, there's a new trio, which is nice. But I think it'll just make ghost type moves a lot more attractive to use. And better, but other than that, the ghost types have been pretty, like they've been just eliminated from competitive almost. And poor Gengar and his his lack of ability. This is just one of the many thoughts I have on for Generation Eight, but this is the biggest one, and I just want to talk about this on its own video because I there's a lot of things I could talk about, but uh, maybe I have a different video talking about many different things. But as far as that goes, I really think ghost types should be a lot stronger and this would be a great change that I would love to see. It has nothing to do with mechanics or anything, just one simple change that would make the game a little bit more balanced, I think. But yeah, tell me what thoughts you guys have about this and what other thoughts you want for Pokemon Sword and Shield and what thoughts that they might make.